the question is rich sugar limited issued rupees 20 lakh 8 percent debentures divided into debentures of 100 each on 1st april 2013 redeemable in four equal installments starting from 31st march 2016 hence journal entries of rich sugar limited draw the journal format and the date is 1st april 2013 The first entry is bank account debited to debenture application account. Being debenture application money received on rupees twenty lakh eight percent debentures of hundred each. That is rupees twenty lakh in the debit as well as in the credit. The next one is debenture application account debited to eight percent debentures account. Twenty lakh in the debit, twenty lakh in the credit. Paying debenture application money due on rupees twenty lakh eight percent debenture sub rupees hundred each. The next one is we have to transfer the standard amount, the required amount as per the Finance Act two thousand thirteen twenty five percent of twenty lakh in two equal instalments in the year two thousand fourteen and fifteen. It is like this. The board of directors decided to transfer to the debenture redemption reserve two lakh fifty thousand rupees each year in year each year on thirty first March two thousand fourteen and fifteen. That is balance in statement of a P and L account debited to debenture redemption reserve account. Being first instalment of the required amount transferred to debenture redemption reserve account. That is two lakh fifty thousand rupees. Both in the 2014 and 2015 same amount that became 25 lakhs. Hence 20 lakhs into 25 percent. That is 20 lakh into 25 percent is 5 lakhs. Hence when the company is transferring 2 lakh 50 thousand, we have to invest. Twenty lakh into fifteen percent divided by two, one lakh fifty thousand in the debenture redemption investment account. That is debenture redemption investment account debited to bank account, being fifteen percent of the face value of debentures invested in debenture redemption investment account. That is twenty lakh into fifteen percent. That is rupees three lakh divided by two, two instalments, one lakh fifty thousand now. And in the next year, same one lakh fifty thousand. These last two entries will be repeated in two thousand fifteen because two instalments transfer is there. Thirty first March two thousand fifteen. Balance in statement of a P and L account, debit, profit and loss account debited rupees two lakh fifty thousand. The second instalment to debenture redemption invest reserve account that is rupees two lakh fifty thousand. Being second instalment of the required amount transferred to debenture redemption reserve account. The next one is 31st March 2015. That is debenture redemption investment account debited to bank account. Being 15% of the face value of debentures invested in debenture redemption investment account. That is rupees 20 lakh into 15%. The whole divided by two, that is rupees one lakh fifty thousand, both in the debit and credit columns. That is rupees one lakh fifty thousand will be invested in debenture redemption investment account. After that, the first redemption will start in the year two thousand sixteen, where it is written. On 31st March 2014 and 15, the company invested 3 lakh in government securities as required by the Companies Act, and decided to encash the securities after the last redemption. After the last redemption, these investments will be encashed, and the redemption will start from 31st March 2016, the second line. That is eight percent debentures account debited to debenture holders account, being rupees five lakh eight percent debentures of rupees hundred each due for redemption. That is rupees five lakh in the debit and rupees five lakh in the credit. 
and then payment to them debenture holders account debited to bank account being debenture holders paid that is same 5 lakh in the debit and 5 lakh rupees in the credit same debt this last two entry will repeated four times that is 8% debit in 2017 8% debenture account debited to debenture holders account being rupees 5 lakh 8% debenture sub 100 is due for redemption rupees 5 lakh in the debit rupees 5 lakh in the credit next one is debenture holder account debited to bank account being debenture holders paid the same amount of rupees 5 lakh in each columns then 31st march 2018 8% debenture account debited to debenture holders account being rupees 5 lakh 8% debenture sub rupees 100 is due for redemption rupees 5 lakh each in the debit and credit columns next one is this payment entry in the same date debenture holder account debited to bank account being debenture holder paid rupees 5 lakh in the debit and credit columns next one 31st march 2019 8% debenture account debited to debenture holder account rupees 5 lakh in the debit and credit columns being rupees 5 lakh 8% debenture sub rupees 100 is due for redemption at par now payment to debenture holders in the same day debenture holders account debited to bank account being debenture holders paid rupees 5 lakh next one is debenture redemption reserve account debited to general reserve account rupees 5 lakh in the debit 5 lakh in the credit being the debenture redemption reserve account is closed by transferring it to general reserve account 5 lakh in the debit and credit next one is bank account debited to debenture redemption investment account being invested amount now in cash after redemption that is rupees 30 lakhs both in the debit and credit columns this is by mistake i have written 30 lakhs this is actually 3 lakhs hence the totaling that is rupees 1 crore 23 lakhs both debit and credit should be reduced by 27 lakh rupees and this is the final answer this investment in cash is rupees 3 lakh and this is the final answer